One of the most common questions we get here on Hack 5 is how do I get started hacking? Today, I'm going to show you my personal favorite way to get started learning hacking, but if you're a more advanced user, don't click away quite yet. I will be showing some websites and CTF challenges that could be useful for even more advanced hackers. Now, getting started in hacking can be a bit of a nightmare when you first start off. There's a vast range of starting places with some people just having experience using Chrome, or other people have more advanced Linux experience and they're used to networking and they're really just wanting to start explore and break systems. Now, you also have other factors such as a wide variety of courses, which may or may not be useful and can be the modern equivalent of death by PowerPoint, where you watch a bunch of videos, but you don't really get to apply it. And so you don't really internalize the knowledge. And then also with hacking in particular, you have these compounding factors of, is it ethically or legally uh, acceptable to hack on this system? And you know, that's where the beauty of a CTF comes in. With a CTF, you can really hone in on the skills that you wanna work on, since they're often focused on a specific thing, where, whether that be like forensics or network analysis, or they can even be very basic things. When I say CTF, what am I talking about? CTF stands for capture the flag. Now, it's not like airsoft paintball capture the flag, where you're running across a field and grabbing a physical flag. What you're doing is something similar, you're grabbing a digital flag. And this digital flag can often be a string, which is just a, a set of characters, or a key that will be hosted in a file, in a server somewhere, or maybe in a network log, or something like that. And by having access to this string, you're able to prove, hey, I was able to exploit the system. I was able to gain access to something that I shouldn't have had access to within the realm of the CTF. And it's fun. You know, it's a challenge, it's practical. And the beauty of it too is you're absolutely 100% ethically and legally okay to do these. These are made intentionally vulnerable for you to practice your skills. Now, the CTF term is, kind of covers a big broad umbrella in hacking. Um, the way I like to break it down is you kind of have the gamified version of CTFs, which are intended to teach you a specific skill and are often intended for a single person to experience. And then you have the other version of CTFs, which are something you might be more familiar with, with Mr. Robot or any other kind of TV show you might've watched. You might've watched CTF challenges at DEF CON. So those kinds of CTFs are usually intended for teams to be on each side, although sometimes it will be uh, 1v1 or something like that. Primarily today, what we're gonna focus on for learning purposes is these websites that offer the first kind um, for a single user to go in and learn some skills. If that sounds interesting to you, then let's go over to my screen and we can start taking a look at a few of these intentionally vulnerable websites and CTF websites. To get started, the first website I really wanna show off is overthewire.org. This website has gotten so many people started and the great thing is it's absolutely free. And if you're really like absolutely beginning out, you've, you've never used Linux before, the Bandit War, War Game uh, will really get you pretty far. As you can see, it's got a lot of levels here and it's intended to be completed in order and starts you out at level zero, which is the really basic SSHing into a remote system so a lot of these CTFs will take place either through the web browser or through some sort of VPN connection, or in this case, SSHing into that remote session. And as you can see over here on the left, it gets progressively more difficult. But yes, if you are fluent with Linux basic commands, you're gonna blow through these first couple of levels. But again, if you're really just starting out, great place to start learning Linux. Now, if you're more into the website hacking, angle of things, you can also try the Natus campaign here. And that's going to walk you through a lot more of the SQL, cross-site scripting, those sorts of attacks. Now from there, the other website, if you really get into the web pen testing side of things, 
is portswigger.net. As you can see here, I have their SQL page pulled up. They have a bunch of different CTFs. This is the same company that makes Burp Suite. So if you know that Burp Suite's something you wanna use or something you're considering using, definitely worth checking out the Portswigger Academy. They cover not only SQL injection, but a wide variety of these sorts of website attacks, cross-site scripting, request forgery, so on and so forth. You can uh, view all the labs here. And again, this one is completely free. I do think they have a certification if that's something you're interested in. Some people aren't. If it's your thing, do it. Uh, it's something nice to pad out the resume. The nice thing about Port Swigger as well is that it is fairly well documented. So if you do have trouble, that's great. Obviously, you want to try these things as much as possible on your own. And that's also a beauty of the Bandit campaign and other CTFs on Over the Wire, those are also going to be very well documented. Not necessarily super well documented here on the page, but with these bigger websites, uh, you can easily go find YouTube videos or written articles or just a simple Google search away. Once you've tried both Portswigger and or Over the Wire, Try Hack Me is a great website. Uh, it is a paid version. They, they do have some CTFs that are free, but the paid version is about six pounds a month, so less than $10 a month. Uh, so relatively affordable for most people. And the, the really beautiful thing about Try Hack Me is they are really good about handholding you through these challenges. So if you really are struggling, uh, you don't know where to start, um, you're a lost ball in the high weeds, um, Try Hack Me is really gonna be helpful in that regard. So two really good challenges to look at here on Try Hack Me are the basic penetration testing. Uh, this one's gonna really dive into the web app penetration testing we were talking about. Uh, so if you're coming from Port Swigger, great thing to work on. Uh, also, it's going to cover privilege escalation and other things like that. And if you're more into stenography, encryption, decryption, using hashcat, those types of things, uh, the CTF collection volume one, I believe there's also a volume two, are gonna be great for you. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a hack bite episode if I didn't mention the Nugget. Now, the Nugget is a product that we sell and use. And in fact, we've covered the damn vulnerable Nugget in a previous episode of Hackbyte. And essentially, it is a microcontroller which is going to run a vulnerable web server, which will allow you to play around with things like brute forcing usernames and account passwords. So definitely check out the Hackcat-Tech damn vulnerable Nug GitHub page. Uh, it's been updated fairly recently. Uh, so if you already have a Nugget, then you can go ahead and just flash this code to it and start running it today. Moving on, another very popular website is Hack the Box. Now, Hack the Box is going to be a little more challenging than Try Hack Me, a little less user friendly. Now, Try Hack Me and Hack the Box are very gamified, but where Try Hack Me is going to be much better about holding your hand, walking you through things, giving you hints, tips, and tricks, and stuff like that. Hack the Box is going to be a little more okay, try harder, have fun, figure it out. That being said, it's not impossible to find help, right? You can go to YouTube, you can go to outside resources, other websites, and find walkthroughs uh, for some of these CTFs. I always recommend really going through and trying your hardest on these uh, CTFs and these challenges. And, and the beauty of these large websites, Hack the Box and Try Hack Me, is you know they have for business and for education. And what that really means in a practical sense is that there's gonna be a lot of educational institutions on here. Uh, there's universities who create courses or uh, groups of CTF challenges for you to complete. Um, and also there's businesses that'll do the same. And it means that you can also potentially get job offers through here uh, through either completing you know, a lot of CTFs or particularly challenging CTFs. So uh, if you are getting to that stage where you wanna start kind of dipping your toe into like actually getting a job and doing this for a living, those can definitely be helpful resources. Now, Hack the Box, same as Try Hack Me, does have some paid version. So obviously you're gonna get more access to various things. A little more expensive than Try Hack Me, so maybe you wanna hold off a little bit, but still a relatively uh, reasonably priced resource. So that's all the CTF websites and intentionally vulnerable applications that I have for you all today. Now, if I missed your favorite, I'd really appreciate it if you put it in the comments below so other viewers can find out about it too. Now, if you're just a beginner, I highly recommend getting started with Over the Wire, do the Bandit and Natus challenges, and then move on to Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. 
From there, you should have a pretty clear idea of what sort of challenges you like and what you need to learn. Now, if you appreciated this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have a specific question, you can join us on our Wednesday Q&As where we're able to answer some of those questions live. Until then, I'll see you on the next episode of Hack Byte. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and pen test products at hack5.org.